Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to see solutions of worksheet number ten, uh, worksheet number twelve. Okay. So uh, from worksheet number uh, twelve, second problem. First problem already we have seen. The second problem is ABE is an isosceles triangle in which AE is equal to BE. The circle through A and B. Intersects A and B e at D and C respectively. Prove that DC is parallel to ABC. Okay, figure is given here. Okay, so see AB is an isosceles triangle. Right, AB is an isosceles triangle. Okay, in which A is equal to B. Definitely, A e and B two sides of isosceles triangles are same. So here it is given. Which two sides are same? A e and this a e and b this side and this side is same okay the circle through a and b intersect a e and b at d and c the circle through a and b circle is round uh, through point a and b intersect at point d and c understood to triangle a uh, e a b or a e b okay So it is true that DC is parallel to A. DC is parallel to A. That we need to prove. Okay. So first we will see what is given. What is given? Isosceles triangle. Triangle ABC. Triangle ABC is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Okay. That is given. If it is isosceles triangle and that is two sides are same, two sides are equal. E is equal to B. E and B are equal. Understood? So uh, that is given. And what? Here the circle through A and B intersect E and B and B and C. Okay, sir. So this is also given things. Okay, so that we have taken. Understood? Now to prove, what we have to prove? BC. Here directly we have to prove BC. Is parallel to A. That is the parallel that we need to do. Okay. So we need to do a little construction. That is construction. What do we do? We have told us DC parallel to AB. So we need to join DC. Okay. DC parallel to AB. Understood. So this is a very simple example. So here uh, join join DC. Okay. So that is construction. Now we will see proof. We will see this proof. Okay. So here we can understand triangle. It is given that triangle ABE is isosceles triangle. Okay. So A e and B e are equal. That is given. A e is equal to B. E. Okay. This is given. A e and B e are equal. So definitely angles supposed to be equal sides are same. So we can say this is angle one. If we will say this is angle. Okay, angle one, two, three. So here we can say angle one is equal to angle two. Angle one and angle two are equal. So here we can write angles opposite of equal sides. Equal sides. Okay. Angle one is opposite of EB and angle two is opposite of E. Okay. Which are equal. One and two are equal. Understood? Now quadrant ABCD is a Cyclic quadrilateral, quadrilateral. Here I am taking that quadrilateral. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. Why cyclic quadrilateral? Because all the points are on the circle points. Okay. And uh, quadrilateral is formed. So ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So here we need to think about the properties of cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. So if I will say this angle. Three angle three. This is angle three. Angle three. So according to the exterior angle property of cyclic quadrilateral, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. So here angle two is equal to angle three. Angle two and angle three are equal. Why? According to the exterior angle property of cyclic quadrilateral. Exterior angle is equal to In, uh, exterior angle of cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. Understood? Interior. This is interior. Both the angles are interior, but this is opposite angle. Understood? So 
then we can say angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Angle 2 is equal to angle 3. What reason we can give by exterior angle property? By exterior angle property of cyclic order. Okay, so this is I am saying second one, and this we will say this is first one. This is first one. Okay, so angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Angle 2 is equal to angle 3. So from first and second, from first and second, we can say angle 1 is equal to angle 3. Angle 1 and angle 3 are equal. Understood? Angle 1 and angle 3 are equal. Understood? So angle 1, if angle 1 and angle 3 are equal, these are the corresponding angles also. Okay? Angle 1 and angle 3 are corresponding corresponding angles also. Okay? Corresponding angles of each other. And when corresponding angles are same, when lines are parallel, that time only you will get corresponding angles are same. Understood? If corresponding angles are same, we can see here BC is parallel to DC is parallel to DC. Understood? Okay, you see here our third problem from this worksheet is ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. The circle passing through A and B meets AD and BC in the points E and F. Okay. Uh, respectively, through that EF is parallel to DC. Here, point this is D and this is C. Through that, EF is parallel to DC. Okay. Once again, see ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. A circle passing through A and B meets AD and DC in the points. A circle which is passing through the points A and B. Meets, meets this AD and BC at point E and F and we have to prove that EF is parallel to BC. So to prove, to prove EF is parallel to BC that we need to prove. Okay. Now EF is parallel to BC so we need to do a little bit. So we need to join this EF. EF we will join. Then here construction, construction will come join EF. Okay? Join EF. Already it is told that A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? A, B, C, D. So if you join this, then A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay? So in proof, you will see quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Is cyclic, is cyclic order, cyclic order. Okay. If it is cyclic order, suppose I will say this is angle one, this angle is one, and this angle is three. Okay. So we can say one plus three angle, one plus angle three is equal to one eighty. Angle one plus three is equal to one eighty. Understood. So. Some of these two angles is 180 degree because opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So 1 plus 3 is equal to 180 degree. Now if I will say this is angle 2, this angle 2. Okay. So if you observe figure A B F E is also cyclic quadrilateral. A B F E is also cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. So here we can say A B F E is also cyclic quadrilateral. Also, cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, so this I am saying first one. If AB FE is cyclic quadrilateral, then we can say angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180. Okay, angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180. Understood? So now this is I am saying second one. Angle 1 plus 3 180 degree, angle 1 plus 2 is equal to 180 degree. So we can take can equate this LHS that is 1 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2. So angle 1, angle 1 will be cancelled. So angle 3 is equal to angle 2. Angle 3 and angle 2 are equal. Angle 3 and angle 2 are equal. And both angles are corresponding angles of each other. Okay, so here we can write angle 2 and angle 3 are 
the corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Okay, and corresponding angles are equal. So it means EF, it means EF is parallel to it means EF is parallel. When corresponding angles are equal, when lines are parallel, that time only corresponding angles are equal. So here we can see EF is parallel to DC. Okay, then we will join 
M A. Also, we are going to join this M A. Okay, this. Then we need to one, two, three, four. Okay, that is we have taken. Okay. So here we just we need to mention join A B. Join A B. M A. M A. Then M A. And B C. Okay, so this construction we have done. Now this is P M. First now we now proof we are going to see. So in proof first we are going to think about. Quadrilateral, this one. We will think about this one. Before that, see here, PM is perpendicular to AC. That is given. PM is perpendicular to AC. If PM is perpendicular to AC, then we can say PMA is equal to 90 degree because it is perpendicular. PM is perpendicular, so here we can say angle PMA is equal to 90. Okay. Also. PN is perpendicular to PA. PN is perpendicular to PA. PN is perpendicular to PA. Okay. So here also we can say angle PNA. Angle PNA is equal to 90. Both so the angles are 90. This is also 90. And this is also. Okay. Because both are perpendicular. So if these are two opposite angles of quadrilateral A M P N. These are two opposite angles, and sum of opposite angles is 180 degree. So we can say A M P N are coincident. Okay, sum of these opposite angles is 180 degree. So in this case, we can say A M P N are coincident. So here I am taking A M. Here we need to write angle A N P. Angle A Or, or this we can say P N A is equal to angle or plus angle P N A is equal to 90 plus 90 that is 180. That is 180. Okay. So we can say A M P N point A M P N N are coincident. Are coincident. Okay. Coincident means this is a cyclic formula. Quadrilateral A N P M A M P N is a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, is a cyclic quadrilateral. Also, one more thing we can thus we can uh, see here that is P N is a quad. Okay, if this we will take a circle, then P N is a quad, uh, and Due to PN, this is common base. Due to PN, what we can do is we see PMN, this is PMN, and PAN will be equal because angles in the same segment by which is made by chord PN. Are you getting what I'm saying? PN is a chord. If you will take a circle, this is a cyclic chord. If you will take a circle which is passing through all the four points, A, M, P, N. Then what we will get? This is a line segment or chord which is making equal angle with M and with A. Okay. So here we can say angle P M A, angle P M N. Sorry, angle P M N is equal to P M N is equal to angle P A N, angle P A. And this I am saying first one. Why? Because angles in the same segment, same segment, okay, made by chord B, made by chord P N, chord P N, okay, angles in the same segment made by chord P N, okay. So this is we have seen. Now. We are going to think about next part. So here I said this is first. P M N is equal to P M N is equal to P N A. 
third one third from first and third we can say angle pcl we are writing now angle pcl is equal to angle pmn angle pmn angle pcl angle pcl is equal to angle pm pmn pmn understood so now both the angles are 90 degree and 90 degree so we can say angle pmn finally we can say angle pmn plus angle pml angle pmn is equal to 180 so l m and n are collinear l m n are collinear understood everybody 